Hey folks, a lot of you have been sharing the links about the upward lightning, the earth strikes back, the earth discharges, and as many of you are correctly realizing, this is part of the ongoing earth magnetic change, the increased electromagnetic activity of the geodynamics, the increased atmospheric electricity. This is something that is going to be more and more common, something we are seeing more and more commonly. The reason is because, as scientists are discovering, there are connections between solar flares and lightning, CMEs and lightning, geomagnetic storms, the solar wind magnetic reversal that comes with the heliospheric current sheet, the sector boundary crossing, and some of the most strong correlations of all come with galactic cosmic rays, which are modulated both by Earth's magnetic field and the sun. The how, the why, that's easily found in Weatherman's Guide to the Sun. The implications for how bad it's going to get, we cover those fairly well in the next end of the world and a bit more in the upcoming supplement. But what you need to realize is this, everything is being amplified. This is not just the magnetic field of Earth changing more and more. This is not just increased signs we're seeing in the atmosphere and ionosphere. This is not just the migration problems that we're already seeing in everything from birds and insects and marine mammals. It's not just the lightning, it's not just the people who seem to be going along with Earth's magnetic field, if I may. And for those who take the religious aspect and see how well these natural changes and these scary things happening with the population match up with your books, realize it's not just religion. Great works of philosophy that do not qualify as religion say the same thing is going to happen and it all makes sense because we are electromagnetic creatures with electromagnetic brains. Every thought we have is in the radio wave and it affects every part of our body. Our thoughts are very important to us. Think about the placebo effect or negative psychosomatic effects. These processes affect more than just, let's pick up a hammer, let's write down a word. They affect our emotional stability, how we deal with anxiety, terror, fear, these changes that are causing the increased upward lightning, the Earth discharges, are the same changes that are starting to affect Earth's rotation and we're speeding up faster and faster. They're the same ones that are starting to affect people's mental stability across the planet. If you haven't noticed that one yet, I don't know where you have been. But these things you're sending, we're seeing them. Thank you for sending them in. It is wonderful to see how many of you have your eyes open. When it comes to prepping, if I may make a little note on this, this is something that has to be prepared for in what we're talking about. There are a lot of ways in which the preparation we deem necessary is different than your three-day bug out bag, different than your earthquake preparedness, certainly different than the nuclear apocalypse scenario the electromagnetic aspect. And by the way, we don't cover prepping as much, about as much as we do is go over some of the specifics for how the natural disaster with the sun and Earth's magnetic field are going to affect it. You know who I watch a lot? Canadian Prepper, if I can give a little shout out. He um, is really knowledgeable. Uh, the videos are entertaining and informative to watch. Looks like we have about the same bench press, just really like the guy. Anyway, uh, the point is, Eyes open on all of this. All of it matters, and it's not going to stop anytime soon. We're getting ready for the next age of Earth. Be safe, everyone.